This is vocabulary number six. My name is Katherine J. Walling. This video is to help my students at Horizon High School improve their vocabulary skills. You'll know you've got this when you can answer. How do we choose the correct word to discuss English topics? What are the best definitions? How do we choose the correct word to discuss English topics? We expand our vocabulary. You can expand your vocabulary by choosing several words from the vocabulary list. Use them in your everyday conversations. Use them in your writing. When you consistently use a word, it becomes part of your personal vocabulary. What are the best definitions? Let's take a look at this week's words. The first word is aberration. Aberration, aberration. Aberration is a noun, meaning a variation or change from what is normal or right, something unnatural. Anne Boleyn had a sixth finger on her right hand, an aberration many people thought marked her as a witch. The next word is aghast. Aghast, aghast. Aghast is an adjective, meaning shocked, terrified, or amazed. She was aghast when she found the dead body. The next word is appellation. Appellation, appellation. Appellation is a noun. It is a name or title, a word used to identify a person or thing. My call sign is kilowatt, and I'm proud of that appellation. The fourth word is bewilder. Bewilder, bewilder. Bewilder is a verb meaning to perplex or confuse, to disorder a person's thinking. I did not mean to bewilder you with the question. The next word is chattel. Chattel, chattel. Chattel is a noun. It is a thing that is owned, a possession. Until 1920, a woman was considered her husband's chattel. The next word is contemptuous. Contemptuous, contemptuous. Contemptuous is an adjective, meaning thinking poorly of, scornful or disdainful. He was contemptuous of his colleagues' efforts to solve the problem. The seventh word is debonair. Debonair, debonair. Debonair is an adjective describing someone who is charming, having a sophisticated and attractive manner. Clark Gable, Cary Grant, and David Niven were all debonair men. The next word is detest. Detest, detest. Detest is a verb meaning to have a profound dislike or abhorrence for, to hate. Most people detest snakes. The next word is elasticity. Elasticity, elasticity. Elasticity is a noun. It is the physical property of matter, wherein matter returns to its original form after being reshaped, as an elastic band returns to its original shape after being stretched. The elasticity of the dancer's tights 
kept them from bagging. The last word is fickle. Fickle, fickle. Fickle is an adjective describing someone who is capriciously changeable in affection or belief, not remaining faithful to one idea or feeling. The girl was fickle. She couldn't remain faithful to one boyfriend. Your assignments are first to complete the vocabulary worksheet. It is a Google Doc. Use the dictionary to find the definition, synonyms, and antonyms for each word. If you don't find an antonym listed, think about what the word means. What would be something opposite of that meaning? While the vocabulary worksheet is ungraded, it will help you make a better grade on the Google form. Next, complete the Google form. This assignment is graded. If you have a question, please open the assignment in Google Classroom and post a private comment. This links your question to the assignment and allows me to provide a better answer.